Ladies and gentlemen, here is your full disclaimer. I know I've said this before, but I am no nutritionist. I also feel like I should let you know that I consumed many hot dogs and a lot of white claws this weekend. So there's a reason why this is being filmed on a Wednesday afternoon and not a Saturday night. Um, with that being said, enjoy the vlog. What is up guys? Welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here. I'm so happy to have you. Thanks so much for stopping by. Make sure to check out some of my other videos while you're here. I'm actually going to link my most recent upload right here for you guys to check out. And if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed. I'm super sorry about the lighting right now. It's kind of weird. Like the sun's coming in like way over here, but it's like 7.35 and totally nearing the end of the day here in Ohio. So I'm going to be doing a what I eat in a day video today. So, or tonight, I guess. Um, for those of you who don't know, I'm actually a full-time nanny, so I can't necessarily vlog, like, throughout the day just because I'm with the kids, and, like, I'm just not gonna do that because it's, like, kind of uncomfortable and I don't want to put the kids in a weird spot or obviously have the kids on my channel, but I did think it'd be fun to have you, like, kind of come grocery shopping with me. I'm a little weird still, like, vlogging in public, so it won't be anything too elaborate, but, um, tonight I'm gonna pack my lunch for tomorrow, so I thought that I would just, like, set up my vlog while I'm packing and kind of talk you guys through it. If you don't know already, I do have a blog, daybydana.com. Um, the link is in my Instagram bio. Make sure you're checking that out too if you don't follow me already. It's daybyday underscore na on Instagram. And then in the link in my bio, it'll show you all the different links that I have, like my YouTube channel, my blog, discount codes for certain things. Last Friday, a blog post went live talking about what I do eat in a day. Um, just a little backstory on that. I'm trying to do like a weight loss series. And correspond my YouTube channel and blog um, so that week by week they kind of correspond with each other and I can kind of let you guys know like what I've been doing to lose weight nothing drastic I'm actually just able to like keep the weight off I'm not losing anything like drastically or anything like I just said but um I am able to keep it way off since January and I'm really proud of myself for that especially during quarantine when all of the snacks were like available right in front of me it was really hard to do but um I've been doing really good and I'm proud of myself so I just wanted to share that on my blog and on here because I think number one it'll hold me accountable and number two I can share these tips with you guys because they might work for you everybody's body's different I'm sure we all know that by now when I first started my blog I wanted to have it correspond with my youtube channel just because I know that I learn best by like watching and so I know a lot of other people probably would retain information better if they like watched me pack my lunch and saw what kind of brands I used and where I shopped yada 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 other people like to read it and they retain information better that way so that's why I wanted to have the blog and the YouTube channel it's honestly a lot of work as I'm sure you would have guessed but I love it because it's keeping me busy post-grad and that's exactly why I started this just to like keep me busy and have something to do and share my information so every Friday a post will go up and then the following week a vlog corresponding with that same topic will also go up so if you didn't get that from earlier my blog post about what I eat in a day went up last Friday night and then here's my vlog about it so for those of you who might retain information better by reading and just seeing it word for word make sure to head over to daybydana.com and read my blog post um, but for those of you who want to see it or if you just want to see both because you're really cool like that then stick around so like I said you guys are gonna come shopping with me tonight grocery shopping um I can't promise that's gonna be done in any sort of orderly fashion that's just not the way that I live my life I guess um but I can promise you that I'm gonna show you a lot of different um like brands I use and stuff like that and when I'm packing my lunch and you're watching me pack my lunch I will go over kind of like why I use it what I like about it yada 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 so without further ado I'm gonna go grab my mask actually because my mom's washing it right now and then I'm gonna head to the grocery store so Let's get to it. I'm gonna be honest, I don't think that my gas has gotten this low since like the very beginning of March before quarantine, but I'm not complaining. up guys good morning it's actually the next day now so I'm gonna head downstairs um, I'm about to go into work I have about 10 minutes till I have to leave I just got out of the shower so my hair looks kind of weird but <laughs> I'm gonna pack my lunch for the day and just kind of show you guys what I'm packing so so I have my Caesar salad um, the roast crackers was 12 for serving so 
I just threw like 12 in there. And then for breakfast when I get there, I'm gonna toast this everything bagel thin and do the avocado spread on it and some watermelon. All right guys, well I finally got my air fixed. So you can hear me talking now because the windows aren't rolled down. Um, but that's basically what I packed for my lunch. I wanted to just address really quick the fact that I packed my breakfast. You guys are probably like, what, do you like really sleep in that bad? Well, yes, actually kind of, that's the reason. But mostly it's because I try my best to do some variation of like intermittent fasting. You guys already know I'm at Dunkin' Donuts getting my low fat cappuccino. But I try to do some variation of like intermittent fasting. So in quarantine, it was going so well. And I was doing like, I would, I would only eat from noon to 8 p.m. And so I'd only eat in that eight hour window and then I would like fast overnight. And it was going really well because I would sleep in until like 10.30. So it's not hard to like wait till noon to eat. But now that I am back at work, it's, you know, 7.58 right now. And I like need to eat. So I try to wait as long as I can. I'm not sure how effective that is. I just try to wait as long as I possibly can to eat so instead of waking up and eating at home at seven o'clock in the morning I usually bring my breakfast with me and whenever the kids wake up and do their breakfast or just whenever I end up getting hungry um, I'll pop that in the toaster and do the avocado on the bagel thin I just do throughout the day just like kind of whenever I start to get hungry then I'll do my Caesar salad and my watermelon and then kind of as like an end of the day snack before I go home for dinner, I'll do the Ritz crackers. I can also share the calories with you guys because I'm gonna log them into my Noom. Yeah, and then it's really cool because my family, I think I've mentioned this before, my family like trades off um, who makes dinner every night of the week, but it's perfect that today ended up being my day because I was like, I woke up like, oh my God, what if my mom works tonight and she doesn't make dinner and I have to get like, Chipotle and I had to tell them that I hate Chipotle when I'm trying to eat healthy. No, I'm making one of my favorite, favorite dishes. It's like this shrimp pasta. So I'll make sure to vlog that too and let you guys know how that is. Yeah, so I'll see you guys after work. It's 6 20 p.m. I just pulled in my driveway. I'm gonna make that dinner I was telling you guys about. So this is my ultimate favorite dish. It's my favorite to cook and eat. Um, but I love cooking it because I finally have like done enough like recipes and made this enough times that it's getting like a little bit easier as we go. Hmm, cooking. Who would have thought? My mom and I are gonna cook this up together. I don't think my dad and brother are even home tonight, so it'll be kind of fun just to be the two of us. I got it off Pinterest a couple months ago. It's just a twist on like occasion pasta with white wine it's so super duper yummy so i'm going to share that recipe with you guys i hope it looks good to you guys as well and you guys try it out so here we go all right guys i'm just popping in really quick because i'm waiting for my mom to get off the phone so that we can cook dinner together i wanted to say that i did notice a difference um from today versus yesterday just because i obviously wasn't very conscious about my choices on the world day weekend i did drink a lot of beer and consumed a lot of hot dogs so when i came to um, back home to work yesterday. I hadn't like gone to the store and done like my weekly grocery shopping or anything. So um, I had to just like kind of like improvise. So I took the kids through McDonald's, which is like super fun. And I love doing picnics and stuff with them. But then of course I hate McDonald's. So um, that was super tricky and hard to get over throughout the rest of the day. I just felt like absolute crap. And I'm just finally feeling like I am noticing a difference between eating like fast food and eating like poop and eating better and noticing like a difference in my energy levels and just how I feel throughout the day so that's really great if you have anything to do with that advice make sure you take it and run with it all right hey guys I had to change my shirt because I had some weird mysterious deal on the front of it I guess that's just babysitting but um yeah that's why I look different shrimp obviously pasta obviously whatever your pasta choices I usually go with your favorite white wine 
This is Pinot Gris, not my favorite, but I love all white wines, so you don't have to pick just one, just grab whatever your favorite is, I guess, throw a couple different ones in there. You can also use broth for this, but I prefer the white wine because, because. A little bit of minced garlic, butter, heavy cream, grated Parmesan cheese, because everything's better with cheese, Creole or Cajun seasoning, and some basil leaves. So you'll want to do like a big pot to boil the water for the pasta in, and then um, just like a decent sized pan to do all of the ingredients for the sauce in. First I'm going to start with a tablespoon of butter. I'm going to melt. Heat the butter over medium heat. Two garlic cloves, but since I'm using minced garlic, it'll be like two and a half teaspoons of minced garlic. Add the garlic. And you're also going to add the onions. So the onion was a third cup of diced onion. And then you're basically just sauteing the garlic, onions, and butter. One and a half tablespoons of the Cajun or Creole seasoning. A half a tablespoon of basil. A fourth cup of the white wine. And you're gonna cover it and let it simmer for five to seven minutes. And when that's done simmering, I'm gonna add the heavy cream, which is just a cup. And then while that's like simmering and I'm waiting five minutes for that to cook through. I usually just like do a cleanup. Um, this right. is like Loki turning into an episode of Rachel Ray, but you get the point. So I've got 11 seconds on my timer. I'm gonna add the heavy cream and then I'm gonna stir it around a little bit, close it and let it simmer for another five minutes. If you're cooking with wine, then you have to have a glass of wine. It's just the rules. After this simmers, because I just added the Parmesan cheese to it, you're going to do um, a half a cup and then two tablespoons of Parmesan cheese and stir it in slowly and then let it simmer. And then I'm going to pour the pasta in. Everyone knows how to pour pasta into boiling water. And then when the pasta is done cooking, I'm going to throw the shrimp into the pan with all the sauce and let that cook and then just pour the sauce and shrimp over the pasta once that's done cooking and it's drained. So I'll show you what the finished product looks like. Cheers. I'm gonna add a half, like half of this bag because I didn't realize how big it was. Into the sauce. And this is what it looks like now. And then I'm just gonna stir it up into the sauce. Turn it up a little bit and then add this lid back on. And my pasta's cooking in there. So this is what we look like right now. So since I last checked in, we added a little more wine, butter, and heavy cream. And then also just a little bit of garlic salt as I added the shrimp in because the sauce is looking a little bit too chunky. But here is the finished product. Sometimes we have garlic bread with it too, but we were all out. I thought I was gonna say something else about it's healthier without. Yeah, it's definitely healthier without it. Um and oh I add a little bit of Parmesan cheese on top too. So that's I guess canceling out the garlic bread but still Alright guys, just gonna be honest, I totally had like three helpings of that pasta. I'm finally feeling full. It's just so good. I really want to know if you guys end up trying that out. If you want like the full recipe um, shoot me a DM on Instagram and I'd be happy to send it over, but that's going to be it for today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up and a comment, especially if you're new because I love supporting other small YouTubers and I love when you guys reach out to me and I get to check out your channels as well. So be sure to do that and make sure that you're subscribed because I don't want you guys to miss a next vlog, which is going up Friday, which is like two days from now because I'm a little bit off now with my uploading schedule. Usually it's every Tuesday and Friday, so make sure that your notifications are on. If they're not, just know I post every Tuesday and Friday for the most part. Um, so Friday, if you don't know already, is a Shein haul, and I don't want you guys to miss it. Um, it's going to be super cool. It's perfect for spring slash summer because I guess we're already into summer now. But I don't want to make this outro super long, so I just really appreciate you guys checking out this video. And make sure that you're subscribed so you can stick around for more. Peace out, guys. I'll see you guys next time.